it's Pierre and today very quickly I'm basically going to harvest some of my goji berries I have two shrubs the smaller one here and this other one here believe it or not which I purchased a few years after planting this one here and it's grown I would say six seven times in girth in size and height compared to the first one now I really can't remember because the original one I bought five years ago they're either goji firecracker and or crimson so they're very similar although the soil conditions are the same I believe for some reason the one that's closest to this cherry tree here probably has going through root competition so it's affected in its growth nonetheless it still produces so what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to harvest some goji berries as you can see here that are pretty much ripe and ready to be plucked and picked so very easy you just pull on them gently the ones that are plump red as you can see here and I just drop them in my basket if you look closely you'll see that there are other goji berries that are forming and they're at pretty much an initial stage or younger if you will and uh, one thing to note about goji berry shrubs and their uh, berry production is it's all over the place so you're going to have different phases in harvesting where i am now situated in a northeastern uh, climate i'm basically uh, in montreal and uh, notice that at this time of the year, so second to third week of September is when I start the first harvest of the berries. But this can go on until early November, believe it or not. So these are very late producing berry shrubs. And uh, we'll go at it again, just to show you. I'll try to find some plump ones. Here's one right here. And I'm just gonna pull on it, comes off easily drop it in there I'll take a few more as I go and uh, that's basically it the thing to remember with goji berries is you have to be patient because the harvesting will occur throughout a four or five to six weeks which is great and uh, the other thing to remember is that what I do is I usually just leave them dry either in a cardboard box inside make sure your cardboard box isn't waxed or anything like that and you just find a nice ambient temperature area in the house that's ventilated and just put your berries in the box or in this case I have a cotton towel that I put in the basket and I just throw the berries in this container if you will and eventually after a week or two the berries are going to dry out and it's going to resemble a raisin basically and you eat them like that some people throw them in salads other people will uh, basically sprinkle their cereal in the morning with goji berries. I'm sure you will find tons of recipes and other ideas online, so I invite you to do so. But for today, I just thought I'd show you the very basics of harvesting goji berry, which is ridiculously simple. Take it easy. I'll see you the next time.